the lady. Welcome to Copper. Oh no. Would you come a little closer out of the darkness there? Oh, hello. You're not a dark elf, are you? You're certainly not a mycelium elf. Well, welcome. My name is Copri, and I am a merchant. Very nice to meet someone new. Um, so, a uh, weird question. Where are you? Human. You're far away from home, aren't you? No, oh, no. Don't worry. I serve everyone here. So, welcome to Copri's uh, Food Emporium. And uh, that's it. I used to sell weapons as well, but I found out, um, number one, myceliums uh, aren't great at making weapons, and number two, uh, they can be used against you real quick. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's very nice to see you. Sorry it's so dark in here, uh, my clients tend not to like the light, and plus I got night vision, so, um, what, what's, uh, what's got you wandering around in the dark? Oh, you lost. Well, not to worry. You're here now. You can hang with me for as long as you need. Aye? Like I said, I'm a... I'm, I'm a, you know, merchant of some kind. In a sense. I, I specifically deal with uh, the other clientele down in the Underdark. Yes, the... Uh, the Dark Elves. <laughs> They're not that bad a bunch, really. Well, that's... Still, um, they all need food, and they can't grow everything that we can. Although they really have an aversion to mushrooms. I tell you what, every time I'm like, Hey, do you want a mushroom? They're like, would you like to die? Oof. Ah, don't worry, I'm fine. Hmm? <gasps> My arm's gone. Hey, did that happen? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm very well aware that I don't got an arm. <laughs> yeah, it happened a while ago now, um... I was trading with someone, and then they accused me of selling stolen goods. I told them I didn't do it, and, you know, just got it from home, and they didn't believe me. And well, not to worry. I'm all right now. Get, get it? All right? <laughs> it's almost worth it for that one joke. Yeah, but uh, I get my own back at him. Uh, just quickly looking around. a little bit of a job on the side. You see, the Dark Elves have slaves, for lack of a better word. Wood Elves, uh, humans, orcs, a whole bunch of different communities down here in shackles. I'm wondering if that's you. Are you uh, escaping? Oh, I, I see. Well, not to worry. My side job is to get People like you, out of here. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not as hard as it sounds, honest. Um, you're lucky you've made it this far. This is still Dark Elf territory, but... Um, we're really close to the surface. Yeah, no, totally. Um, I could get you out of here. But first, um... I just want to talk to you for a while. If that's alright. Well, the only reason being, I think that the Dark Elves might be getting a little wise to me, and I need to make sure that you're not... How to put it in a nice way? You're not a trap. I'm not saying that you are. I'm fairly confident you're not, but a human getting away, you're a valuable resource. <laughs> it's awful to even think about, but, you know. So, let's get started with what's your name? Uh, that's a lovely name. And where did you come from? The capital. Oh, my poor dear, you've been running for a while. That's really terrible. I am so sorry that that's happened to you. Mm. Look, they're, uh, they're a rough bunch of people. I'll be the first to admit it. I mean, look what they did to me. But... To put a positive spin on things before you go getting worried, you're very close to mycelium territory. And the moment you're there, you're safe. You've made it. 
but I don't know if you'll make it if you don't have something to eat. You look very malnourished. Coming from the capital as well. Oh, that must be terrible. Um, I've got something. One second. very basic, but it's a energy bar. It's essentially compressed down fruits, you know, and um, just into a chewy kind of thing. <laughs> Please, eat. Aye, we can grow fruits down here. Not obviously topside fruits, but equivalents of. We've got glow apples, which are apples crossbred with glow shrooms. They taste a little bit earthy, but they're not bad. And then we also have uh, nightshade mangoes. I actually, they are related. Yeah, um, mangoes are related to a type of poisonous ivy, I believe. And so it was quite easy to cross-pollinate them with a nightshade plant that exists naturally in the Undertark. We eventually had to selectively breed out the poison, which led to that. And then we have uh, Thilwicks. The kind of root vegetable, but they're very sweet. Wow, you're just really chewing that down. Oh dear, haven't had a good meal in a long while, huh? I understand. Well, I'm here now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I do this a whole lot. Got to keep people safe and happy. I would love for there to be a future where the Underdark is a place where a lot of adventurers go, travel, have fun. I think deep in their hearts, somewhere, the, the Dark Elves can learn to be better. So I still trade with them when so many others don't. You know, they're not all bad apples. Most are. But I don't think any society is rotten all the way down to the core. Call me an optimist. <laughs> and here's the thing. No one's going to want to mess with you when you're in mycelium territory with the elders. You can't even pierce their skin. Kind of makes you feel a bit cheated. They got to me before. <laughs> you know, I can properly wrestle them back. Got my arm. Oh, it's so hard to cut into elder skin. It's like leather. Real tough. I could take a beating. You should see my da. Me ma too. Haven't seen him in a long time. I live on the border, so not many people visit. Meet a lot of uh, jewel hunters, so figured you might be one of them. Oh yeah, the Dark Elf Caverns have some of the most beautiful jewels. Opals, sapphires, diamonds. Unfortunately, trying to get to them often results in decapitation. Uh, it's, it's sad, really, but if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Well, you know, I'm glad that you found me instead of anyone else. I promise. And I mean this, look at me. I promise I'm going to take care of you. Everything's going to be all right. Deep breaths. Hmm? If any dark elves come now, I'll just say you're my assistant. They're like, oh, actually belongs to the, you know, da -da 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 -da. I could just say, well, I could always go ask my family. That often puts the chills in them. Doesn't always work, though. As is noticeable. <laughs> yeah. At least if they didn't uh, hit me with a poison dagger, that could have been really bad. Well, not really. Could have been bad for you. I'm trying to be, um, you know, uh, what's the word? The one where you feel sympathy for someone else. Because in actuality, we can handle poison. Oh yeah, pretty much completely immune. It would have just stung a bit more. So, I'm glad that that didn't happen. <laughs> but I am glad that, um, I'm glad that you're here. If that makes sense. I'm glad that you found me and that you're feeling safer. 
I'm going to make sure that you get out of this in tip-top shape. Hmm? Well, um, we would be... Where would we be now? Roughly above a major ironwood forest. You can tell by the root system. If you look at the ceiling up there. Yeah. Those kind of shining roots. Those are iron bark. We can get you up there. Do you think you'll be all right? There's a wood elf village somewhere. I, I don't tend to go to the surface too much. It gives me headaches. Sunlight's just not a thing for us. I could take you up there at nightfall. Aye, no problem at all. Where are you trying to get to? Well, I can definitely help you there. Of course. No worries. I make a lot of terrible puns as I do so. <laughs> Artwork for this video was by Meme. Thank you.